Cruise control is a handy functionality that offers smooth and accurate control for complex drone operations. However, many users are not fully aware of its capabilities. It has been introduced in the Mavic 3 and is available on most recent DJI models, including the Mini 3 Pro, Mini 4 Pro, Air 3, Air 3S, Flip and Mavic 4 Pro. In this video I will show you how to make the most of it. To use cruise control we must assign it to one of the buttons of the remote control. I will show you how to do it on the RC2 controller. We access the settings of the DJI Fly app via the three dots icon on the top right. In the control tab we find button customization, where we can assign specific functions to the two buttons on the back of the controller. The C1 button is set to recenter tilt down gimbal and I keep it this way as it is a useful option. I then assign cruise control to the C2 button. Other controllers like RC and one of the Mini 3 Pro have only a single button, but it is still possible to assign it to cruise control. When flying we can start a move, let's say simply advancing at a low speed. If we hit the C2 button, cruise control will be activated, as shown by a message on the left of the screen, and the aircraft will keep flying in the same direction at the same speed. Notice how the horizontal and vertical speed indicators at the lower left have turned from white to yellow with lock icons to indicate that the speed is now constant. To exit cruise control we can tap again on the C2 button or hit the red cross on the left of the screen, or tap on the left button on the front of the remote controller. The simplest way to use cruise control is to advance at a constant speed toward the target. In this case the target is Mount Etna. Let's say there is an eruption going on and we want to catch a big smoke explosion coming out of the crater. We can repeat the same move several times until we catch the perfect moment and the movement will be flawless. Once we get too far in the same direction we can have the drone move backwards at the same speed and activate cruise control again. We can then alternate the two moves until we get our desired shot. We can do something similar by moving laterally. A simple move from left to right shows this village in the foothills of Mount Etna. We activate cruise control to make sure the move is smooth and consistent. Or we can move diagonally from left to right while advancing towards the village. After activating cruise control our hands are free and we can concentrate on moving the left stick of the remote controller to maintain the center of the village in the middle of the frame. We can make a more complex move by adding an elevation change. The aircraft will move diagonally while slightly ascending and we can concentrate on rotating the camera and tilting the gimbal. It is also possible to nest different moves by applying cruise control several times. Again, we start with the diagonal move towards the center of the village and activate cruise control. Then we move the right stick of the remote controller slightly forward to ascend. We can press the C2 button to apply cruise control again and compound the two moves. Then we move the left sticks to the left to maintain the center of the village in the middle of the frame and we hit C2 again. We have achieved a quite complex automated diagonal move ascending and rotating the camera. We can focus on the wheel of the controller to tilt the gimbal to maintain the center of the village on the frame. To resume all the moves performed with the two sticks of the controller can be reproduced by cruise control. 
not the one made with the dials, like tilting the gimbal and zooming. The obstacle avoidance sensors are active during cruise control, unless in sport mode. Some extra attention is needed when adding a descending move, as the aircraft may end up hitting the ground. Let's see several ways of using cruise control for different rendition of the same scene. We can depict this village on the east coast of Sicily by simply advancing toward it at a constant speed, activating cruise control. We can also add manual changes of elevation and gimbal rotations. It can be useful as an establishing shot, but we might prefer a more dynamic approach. We can make things more interesting by modifying the angle of view. We are still advancing at a constant speed using cruise control, but this time we are including two other villages with some nice bays and a couple of small volcanic islands. Now we know more about the surroundings. Then we can introduce some extra moves, starting with a view of the same village. The aircraft will move diagonally to the right and slightly forward, and the camera will rotate slowly to the left to maintain the normal castle in the middle of the frame. We activate cruise control for progressively revealing the other base and villages, thus adding an element of surprise. Now I make a similar diagonal move, by this time at a higher speed, and I slowly lower the altitude while the camera rotates to maintain the normal castle as a target. I activate cruise control to combine all these moves. Notice the interesting parallax effect with the elements on different layers in the background rotating at different speed. To make the move even more dynamic, it is possible to use the left wheel of the controller to apply some digital zoom. Let's do the same cruise control move as before, but this time starting with a deep zoom on the normal castle. During the move, we use the wheel to zoom out back to 100% progressively. The zooming out makes the movement even more dynamic. We can also do the opposite, this time starting without zoom, and progressively zooming to 100%. It would be very hard to perform smoothly all these moves manually, however, by using cruise control we can focus only on the wheel of the zoom for flawless results. Click on the link above to watch my video about the settings for video on the Mini 4 Pro which are very similar to those of the Flip and the R3S. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.